Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to test out yet another brow product, but you know that is very, very important to me to do the hard work to figure out what are the best brow products out there for you. So I have the full face on today, but I have left the eyebrows for us to do together. And today we are testing out the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax by Anastasia Beverly Hills A Try Today. I have tried a couple similar-ish products like the Original Soap Brows from WB Co. And I also did one recently from Browly Care. Their soap brow I really enjoy a lot. But this one is a brow wax styling freeze and it will do a very similar thing where it'll freeze the brows to where we want them just up and fluffy and give us that brow laminated look. I also purchased the brow powder duo. I will use the wax and then fill in the sparse hairs to make it even fluffier even fuller with the brow powder duo and then I also brought one of their brushes that they recommend. It is one of the spoolie and angle gold brush tips and this is their brush number 12. So I will do the entire brow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills products today and see how it all goes down. But I've been hearing some really great things about this brow freeze product so I can't wait to dive in and see how it goes. I purchased the brow freeze and all these products on the Sephora app and they have this little section of how to use a suggested usage. So I thought we could run through those together to make sure that we are on the same page on how to best put this product on. The first step is to gently pick up a small amount of the product using the spoolie end of the brush number 12. So we got that. Using the back of the cap, work the product back and forth. I think making it so it's not like clumpy and it's like evenly distributed onto the spoolie. On clean brows, so I don't have anything on my brows right now, brush through the brow using upward motions and gently pressing down as you go. Continuously brush them up in desired direction as product sets. With the metal part of brush 12, the angled brush side, use pressing motions to sculpt brows into desired shape and lay the brow hairs down flat. That'll give us that laminated look. Next, fill in sparse areas of the brow using Brow Powder Duo. For natural looking brows, apply the lighter shade in the front of the brow and the deeper shade from arch to the tail. To maintain optimal appearance and efficacy, cap must remain tightly closed at all times when not in use. Pro tip, for thicker, untamed brows, use a little more product for extra hold. This product can also be used to tame unruly hairs around the hairline, so it could be used as like one of the flyaway tamers as well. Okay, so I feel ready and excited to dive into this product. So let's open up the brush so it is ready. So here is the brush. I can take off these little plastic guys. So it comes with a little tiny spoolie. So that's good. I might angle it a little bit just so it gets in to the wax a little bit better. And then, okay, I like the angled brush. It's nice and tiny and then really thin. So I think that'll help us get those really thin faux brow hair strokes when we go into the duo. Let me open up the duo. I got it in the color granite. It's kind of like a dark brown gray color. The packaging is so cute. It's like a little rose gold emblem. Oh, it has a nice little mirror inside. And then it comes with two shades, the lighter shade and the darker shade. So I will use the lighter shade for the front of the brows to give me more of a natural look like they said, and then use the darker shade for the middle and the ends. Okay, and then the star of the show, the brow freeze. It's in this really pretty rose gold packaging. Okay, so it is just this clear jelly looking. Oh, okay, it is softer than I thought it would be and it's very sticky, but it's almost like a really thick hair gel is what it feels like. So I'm going to get some of the product onto here. And then on the back of the cap, it says to kind of move it around and I just think it's to prevent it from just like clumps going onto the brow, I guess. Let me bring you guys closer so you guys can really see the action. Oh, hello there, nice and close now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the right brow, just brushing everything up. Definitely like a really thick, clear brow gel. I feel the product in the hair 
already and you can see how it is staying where I'm putting it. Because I do want that really fluffy full look, I am going to put a little bit more of the product in because I say that that is how we get that thick natural brow look. So I'm gonna go in more is more. So I'm pushing up and slightly pressing down at the same time. So they also said to flip it to this brush side and use this metal part to gently push the brow hairs down so we get that laminated look. Oh my gosh, I mean you guys can see the difference, right? <laughs> this one is just up and fluffy and this one is my natural brow. Oh my goodness. So it definitely feels like there's a little bit of glue in the brow to hold it down. So I feel that a little bit, but I know from other products that feeling will go away later as the product dries down. This is really cool. Let me do the other brow and then we can fill it in. Going in with more of the product onto the spoolie and then using the back of the cap to just blend it out so there's not big chunks. Going in with a little bit more product. Okay, I feel like I like where all the hairs are, so I'm gonna flip it over, use this metal part to really laminate the brows down. Wow, <laughs> the brows are fluffy, standing up and everything. So now let's go in with the brow duo to fill in that sparse area. Oh, and remember to put the cap back on as soon as you're done so the product doesn't dry out too fast. So we're, we're all nice and close. I'm like, okay, so <laughs> here's the brow duo. I'm gonna go in with the lighter color and I'm going to fill in the front with the lighter color. This mirror is a little tiny. <laughs> All right, so I filled in the front there with the lighter color. Now that I'm moving into the middle and the ends, I'm gonna move to the darker shade. Okay, so do you see the difference? I feel like it's a subtle difference, but you can tell. Like it's filled in, but it still feels very natural. And so far, I am really enjoying both of these products. This brush, I love how thin it is. It's firm and thin at the same time. Oh, there is a difference, so this one is a little bit more sparse. This one is definitely filled in and it's a little bit darker. I might add a little bit more to the ends there. While I'm filling in the brows, I just make sure to follow the direction that my natural brow hairs are growing and where they want to be. And I find that that is just how you keep it the most natural. And I still want the ends to look fluffy. I don't want it to just be like a harsh filled in line. I'm just into that natural, super fluffy brow. If you guys didn't know already. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm really, really liking it so far. Let me scoot you back a little bit for some of my thoughts. All right, what do you guys think? <laughs> natural brow vibes, fluffy and natural, you know? <laughs> okay, you guys, I am really, 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 really stoked. How many reallys was that? All right, let me compose myself. I feel like I'm really excited and I keep saying really. <laughs> But what I love about this product is it is easier to use than other 
products like this, like the other brow soaps and stuff. The thing that I don't love about brow soaps is that you have to like spray your brush or spray the soap and you have to come up with a lather. Although I think those brow soaps will last a lot longer. Those will last you a really, really long time. Whereas this one, I love that you miss that spray step. The product is already this really thick gel wax that is ready for you to go. And as the product is drying, I'm already feeling like that glued down feeling is already gone. And I also love that there is no white residue with this product. The first brow soap that I tried, the original brow soap by WB Co, there was white residue that came along with that product. Maybe I put in too much product, I don't know. But so far, I haven't seen any sort of white residue. It is definitely a clear product. And then I didn't have any issues putting the powder duo over on top of it. It went nicely and even while I was like messing with it with the brush, no white residue was kicking up at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go about my day, I've got some meetings, I gotta run some errands, I'm gonna get a workout in and then I'm gonna check in with you guys later tonight just to see how these brows hold up and if it really keeps my eyebrows looking nice and fluffy throughout the day. So I'll go about my day and I will check in with you guys later. All right, see you soon. Hi everyone, I am back. Sorry I look a little bit crazy, but I had a full day working, ran some errands, and I just hopped out of a Peloton ride. So I definitely did 30 minutes of cardio where I got a little bit sweaty on the face and everything. So I wanted to put the brows to the test. I think that the brows still look really good. I haven't touched up any of my makeup. I just put on a little bit of gloss before I hopped down to film this for you guys. But I took a really close look at how everything is going and honestly I'm very very happy with how it all is everything pretty much stayed in place like I still feel like it really froze my brows to be just standing up exactly where I put them but again the brows feel very comfortable I don't feel at all like it is glued down or anything I don't feel like there's product in my brow it only feels like that right when you put the product on while it is drying but let me pull you guys a little bit closer so you guys can check it out a little bit close up oh hello we nice and close up now <laughs> I'm like oh my god my hair looks crazy but don't mind that let's focus on the brows please look Look at the brows. The brows definitely still look very fluffy. Sorry if you hear weird noises. My dog is chewing on his toy over here. And the brow hairs are exactly where I put them still. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with it so far. Nice and close up. You guys can see. <laughs> okay, let me push you guys back out for final thoughts. All right, so you guys saw nice and up close that the brows were pretty much stayed in place totally frozen to where I put them earlier. I am really happy with the brow powder duo as well. I feel like it did a really nice job filling in the brows and it hasn't faded or smudged or done anything weird. Both of these products, the Brow Freeze and the Powder Brow Duo, they're both $23. The brush I'm also really enjoying. I enjoy how thin and firm the angle tip is to give me those faux brow hairs as I'm drawing it in. This brush is $18. And so I will link everything that I use below in the description box. Highly recommend you giving this a try if you're looking for a product like this. And I love that this is just a product you dip into and put in your brow. Hi, Lazy Girl Stream is just a one product brush it through and then fill in with this. And I like can't believe I'm saying this, I have been using the MAC eyeshadow forever. I don't know if you've seen my past brow videos, but I always fill in with the MAC eyeshadow and I think it actually has kicked MAC eyeshadow to the curb and I will be using this moving forward. Dare I say, oh my gosh, this one isn't as powdery as eyeshadow is because eyeshadow isn't necessarily meant to fill in the brows. I just love how pigmented it is, but this is pigmented and I didn't notice any sort of powder fallout or anything like that. And I do love that it comes in the two colors so you can 
do variations of, you know, the lighter color in the front, darker in the mid to the ends. I definitely, definitely will continue to use these products. I feel like the products that I'm finding for brows are getting better and better and they keep getting like knocked out of its place and I'm like using this now. I will be sure to also link in the description box the other videos that I've done recently for similar products for like brow soaps and stuff. This is a wax, not a soap, so it's a little bit different, but same use case and same outcome that we are looking for. Well, thank you for so much for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this journey. Highly recommend giving these items a try if you're looking for something like this. I am really feeling the brows and I love how easy all of it was to use. I feel like the brows were really, really quick to do. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post my next video. That would really help me out a lot and I appreciate you. And as always, please be sure to take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.